expect Sora this? good? This is so close for both of them. Damn, that yeah, was yeah. such a bro. sick game, bro. Yo, literally, that game was the best, that, bro. That was actually the best game we've had so far. I organized and hosted a pro Bloon Star Defense Battles tournament on stream last week. On to the first game. We actually picked just really, really good players. Pe people who, like, play this every single day. I'm not, personally, I'm not even qualified to be in this. May maybe if I practice for a month. Okay, here we are. So this is the first game. They're all eight playing right now, or at least they're all eight supposed to play. All right, here we go. Let's see. I got good. the chat yeah. down. Sorry, I'm interrupting you. Also, guys, this is my friend Sweat. He's known in the pro scene. He's going to be helping us today. I actually Don't do. Yeah, I, I, I want to I do a live stream once I hit 200k. It's, it should be nice. Why did they just surrender here? One player misplaced and then gave up but I'm banning that. If they misplace, they live with it. So after some communication, we found their lobby. I actually want to see how much gold she manages to outfarm Sorrow. So it's a best of five, dart, farm, and they're most likely both going super here unless one of them pulls out a sweat and plays freaking Cobra. So uh, one thing that you can actually notice here, uh, you probably don't notice this slight detail, but you can see... Uh, Zoro's dots are glued to the track and gold sheeps are not. This is actually something he told me about, like in DMs privately. But mm. apparently, if you just not, if you just don't glue like the dots to the track, it saves a bunch of lives in the early game, and we can actually see that. So the it's better to not, not, yeah. I mean, so, gold sheep's doing good here, but it's better to not glue the darts to it because I usually put the darts as close to the track as possible. Yeah, yeah. Well, he told me uh, apparently it just saves a lot of lives early game, and I mean we can see that here. He's getting rushed a lot. I'll quickly define rush. When a player sends a large amount of balloons to overwhelm their opponent. I swear, Gold Sheep's method is always just to have a bit more eco than the other guy. Like, no matter what, almost. I should quickly define eco. This green number is the amount of money you receive every 6 seconds. Sending balloons to your opponent will increase this number, aka you get more money. But it also costs you money, so you need balance. Back to the stream. Sorry, just trying to, like, overcompensate by ecoing a little bit extra. Maybe that's Gold Sheep's plan, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Anyway, hello everybody in chat. I'm sorry, we're focusing on the game, so I won't actually be able to respond to most people. Um, so if you have a bunch of questions, uh, maybe somebody in chat can answer you. But yeah. All right, round 10. This yeah, should yeah. actually be, I'm actually excited for this. I also hope people are just going to be updating me runningly as we go. And we can go ahead and just update the, the challenge uh, bracket thingy. 6-8, uh, why isn't Sweat playing? Yeah, why aren't you playing Sweat? Weren't you invited? Well, I think yeah, you didn't want to play, right? Honestly, yeah, it's not that I wouldn't play. If uh, like if I could make the games interesting, I would. The main thing is, right, I haven't touched Tier 0 Dot in so, so long that just me entering the tourney with like massive rust, little experience is not like the best idea once okay. i do like i'm, I'm gonna get back into playing uh playing dots a little more also there's yeah. this rush here i don't know how gold sheep's gonna defend if he just boosts Nine boost yeah and bloom boosted rushes like this are just you know easy to boost but look already look like it already looks like gold sheep has like an advantage like he's up eco he's already he has a little bit more in farm sorrow's being more aggressive trying to rush I feel like gold sheep's being like very very calculated with the way he rushes yeah this wasn't the best rush from sorrow um yeah, gold sheet is defense straight up no yeah. lives lost here almost just 20 lives like that's literally nothing that's crazy yeah and he's already up a farm already like you can see these small little plays that he's coming with already give it gives him like a big advantage and here he forces the boost from sorrow from barely really sending anything which is well played and yeah I, i'd say so like gold sheep already has like a, a slight advantage here He's already outplaying by like almost two k dollars here. That's crazy. And five eco, even though that doesn't yeah, yeah. matter, but it is it is something. Yep. Oh, Saurus getting rushed. Gold sheep just boosts this. I don't know if he needed to boost. Careful, sorrow. Sorrow dies early game. Damn. All right, that is one zero for a gold sheep. Also, you may wonder why didn't sorrow just sell his farms? You just sell your farms and then you place defense. That that makes sense, right? No. You won't just defend with that, because if he did sell any of his farms, he actually would have lost. Because you sell your farms, now your opponent has superior farms to you, and that means you lose. These players are doing future calculations. They know that they can't sell their farms, so the gameplay is very precise. They need to defend with minimum defense so they can maintain a maximum amount of farms. On to round two. There we go. Gold Sheep versus Sorrow. Game number two. In their best of five. So we'll see. If Gold Sheep just wins a quick 3-0. I don't know if that's the way it's going to go down. But if that happens, then we're going to be running on to the next people playing. Let's see. Okay, well, so far, one thing I'm noticing is that Gold Sheep has a slightly different... Uh 
like um, order in uh, which he upgrades the dots uh, compared to Zoro. Like you can see the trip at the bottom is the is the trip on Zoro's side, where the one at the top is the trip on Gold Sheep's side. Yeah, I, I I mean I hate to say this, but I usually play the same way that uh, Zoro plays right now. And seeing Gold Sheep going for the top trip dart instead of the bottom one makes me think I'm doing something wrong. Same. <laughs> Like, I don't know. These people will just have you questioning everything you do. Like, you see somebody, like, you see one of the best players just doing something complete opposite of what you thought you were supposed to. And, and there you go. Sorrow is extremely good. That's the thing. And the thing is, a lot of people are actually going to be watching this thinking Sorrow is bad. But he's actually not. He's just playing against probably the best art player as of right now. And I went a bit off topic, so I will take over narrating here. Currently, what we can see right now is Soro and Gold Sheep both are going like medium eco, medium farm. So they're not farming too much and they're not going heavy, heavy eco. Right now, it's around seven. A lot of people will just go for only greens here, but you can see Soro kind of went a mix. Right now, Soro has a higher eco. As you can see, he's going more green, so he's going to get more money. And right now, Gold Sheep is playing more defensive, but he also has another farm. So it seems like Gold Sheep right here is just going to be playing more passively. So I don't actually know what his plan is, but I think just based off of this right now, I think what Gold Sheep's plan is, is just to play completely passive right here. But we will see how it turns out. Anyway, let's see here. He does send Sorrow a rush right here, and it looks like he's fine to it. It, it, does, it doesn't look too bad. So he's kind of chilling. Right now, Sora's going to set a bunch of yellow balloons, and hopefully it should force something, but it looks like it's not going too well for Sora right now. Sora's low on lives, and he was forced to get up a third trip dart. Okay, so Eco is pretty even on both sides, honestly, and the farms are also pretty even. You can't really say too much about it, but right now, it looks like Sora is just kind of kind of chilling, but I would say if there's one who might have the advantage here, it would be Sora. Back to the stream. All right, I like how much eco they both have on Super Monkey Lane right now. I mean, I usually play a little less eco here, more farms. But I think that, yeah, Sora really wants to go high eco here. I think what Gold Sheep does going for the second plantation is probably more worth. Because round 11, 12, and 13 are all very short rounds. So it's, it's more worth it to farm these rounds and then eco later. Yeah, exactly. I think this sounds about right. Yeah. Honestly, common knowledge, but sometimes... I guess as the game goes by, you tend to forget about the very like basic principles, and Gold Sheep always has those in mind. Yeah, I mean he he does. Yeah. Oh no, he's gonna <laughs> wait. Did he get the bank up? Yeah, yeah. Round thirteen. Okay, round thirteen bank. Okay, now Soro is gonna be aggressive. Gold Sheep playing passive. Do you think he's super? Oh wait, yeah. is he fine? Wait, is oh, he dead? My, he's not. Oh, Gold Sheep died. No way. Okay, see, people are sleeping on Sorrow. Gold Sheep also said he would make it to the like to the finals easily, right? But Sorrow's actually putting up a fight here. That's crazy. Yeah, he's giving them a run of his for his All money, right. quite literally, actually. And we got a bit distracted by the game, by chat, this game. I will take over. Gold Sheep versus Sorrow, game number three. And we can see already Gold Sheep and Sorrow are both sending each other space pinks right now. This is one. They're going to get a little bit of eco from it. And number two, it also helps your opponent leak down a bit of lives. And honestly, lives do matter because you never want to leak down too low. It's only going to be the last live that actually matters. But if you leak your opponent down to like less than 50 lives, they're going to have to play carefully the entire game. All right. Right now, we can see Gold Sheep goes for 290 eco. Then he quickly goes for his plantation. Same with Sorrow. Right now, they are both just chilling and Soro actually went for another trip dart where as you can see gold sheep currently only has a zero two and a trip dart now Soro starts to send some green blooms this is to force the second trip dart and as you can see in the middle of the screen we got a donation big shout out to you my friend all right here we go right now Soro is actually going the eco route whereas gold sheep is going more just farm route so it seems like gold sheep is actually playing passive here because he wants more farm so he can go for a quick bia to then try and go late game where sorrow is being way more aggressive you can see he even went ahead and he balloon boosted a rush so right now it's looking pretty even in terms of like the fact that gold sheep has more farms but sorrow has way more eco 
Maybe it's not even even because Gold Sheep is forced to defend so much. So I would say this is probably a very, very good rush from Sorrow. And Sorrow is forcing a third trip onto Gold Sheep. Now Sorrow goes for a farm of his own. And Sorrow is simply up 126 eco right now. So it's it's just really looking good for Sorrow. But let's see. Sorrow and Gold Sheep both get ready. Sorrow is not going to send a bunch of yellows. So Gold Sheep is going to get up a Spolt here. And he will defend. The thing is... Sorrow has so much more eco, but Gold Sheep has a whole farm lead on him. So we will see how this plays out. All right, they're both going to be sending a lead here. Very interesting. They should both easily be able to afford their Juggernauts, but it's actually going to get kind of close. Okay, Sorrow afforded it just the last second. Gold Sheep had to wait a little bit. There we go. Now Sorrow might actually go ahead and send him a little bit of a rush, just because Gold Sheep doesn't have too much money. Yeah, Sorrow Bloom Boost uh, White Blooms here, and let's see if Gold Sheep defends. He should defend this just fine unless he fully chokes. It actually forced a tower boost. That is very, very good. All right, let's see. Okay, Sorrow is actually doing pretty well here, except for the fact that he also had to boost. They should both get up like another bolt, I would say. Okay, Sorrow's being so aggressive right now. He actually, I think Sorrow is managing to actually prevent Goldshi from getting up a BIA, which is very good. Sorrow sends a huge rush here, and Gold Sheep actually dies! Gold Sheep actually died to it, bro. That is crazy, dude. By the way, guys, yeah, this yeah. is only round one we're currently watching. After these round one games, we're going to get into the semifinals, which are going to be way more exciting. Gold Sheep needs to win now. Like, Gold Sheep cannot choke again, and he knows this. And I know Gold Sheep really wants to win this badly. Also, because, like, he's what he's who people think are going to win. Sorrow is cooking this sheep. Literally, though. God he damn. actually is. He actually is. Like, I love Sorrow. Sorrow's, like, a really, really good friend. I've known sorrow for years we've been playing like darts so much bro we've had late night games where me and sorrow would just stay up play for like four hours just on the same map doing like everything just really like the way you studied that freaking that, that disgusting grinder strat you told me about me and sorrow have studied dart damn what do you mean disgusting grinder strat though? the fucking what, what is it heli cobra farm in in, in speed bonanza that's so fun I know, but you've studied that in detail for years, bro. Like, me and Sorrow are the same way, but we did it with Dart. For years, chill yeah. out. It's literally right. Alien is saying lose. You know what? I'm going to do a little poll here in chat. It's currently 2-1 to Sorrow. But who's going to win the first round? Sorrow or Sheep? I'm, I'm going to do a poll. Who wins? Sorrow or Sheep? Let's start a poll real quick. Sheep considered the best dot player in the game. It also mm -hmm. chokes runs 13 twice. So Zoro, the, the the underdog that actually people underrate a whole lot. Yeah, Sora is the underdog. Like, Sora was seeded uh, number eight in this tournament. He was seeded as the worst player, I believe. Yes, Sora is seeded at eight. Like and and Sora is currently winning against the person who was seeded at number one. I do not believe that Sora is seeded number eight. I believe that should be AFG. Yeah, I think AFC is probably the most washed right now, although he has been very good. But I think he's definitely the yeah, most washed right always, now. Yeah, he's always been good, but the issue is he right. literally hasn't played in, like, I don't know. I, I think I think Gold Sheep's bored of playing. Like, he's tired of just playing passively like he thought he was going to do. Because Sora punished him so well, and now he's just ecoing. He's just straight up going for a ton of eco. And I think this is actually where, like, Gold Sheep excels. Because high eco games, out farming late game is, like, the, the thing he's good at. So we'll we'll see how this goes. Now he's even boosting green balloons. This is this is gonna be crazy. Cyan, now I'm a bit more recognizable. Indeed, bro, indeed. Sorrow taking the money home. I mean, we'll see. By the way, if anybody in chat would like to sponsor this tournament and you want to give a bit of extra prize pool money to the winners, it's already a hundred dollars. But if you want to donate some extra, do it via the link in the description because that goes directly into my PayPal and I can transfer that directly to the winners. YouTube doesn't take a cut. Nobody takes a cut of it. It it just goes to the tournament winners. But I'm going to advertise it a little bit, especially when we get later into the tournament and we go to, like, the semifinals. That should be very exciting. But so far, honestly, I'm rooting for Sorrow. Like, I like Gold Sheep. He's a very good player. But I'm rooting for Sorrow just because he's the underdog. Um, he's who people expected would get out immediately. No, honestly, honestly, like you said, Zoro is just a good friend like even to me we don't talk a lot but when we do it's super wholesome the thing is yeah, like soros never like everybody else can be toxic and this is the thing about like top top like pro community everybody's toxic right soros the one guy who's like never toxic like nobody hates yeah. sorrow nobody ever has beef with him let's see people yeah, are really. voting we got 118 votes 58 percent think soros gonna win 42 percent think gold Sheep's gonna win gold Sheep needs to win this one though if gold Sheep wins this one 
they go into the final match in the best of five, and then we'll actually see who's going to be the winner. Right now, it's a very even game. And Soros being very aggressive. Three region lets is crazy. Yeah, he wants him to choke to take the last win and take the money home. Yeah, exactly. I, I completely get that. So that's what he should be playing for, honestly. He's doing this for. Yeah, are you sitting on a computer right now or are you chilling on your iPad? Chill on my iPad, why? Uh, of course. Because I, I don't know, I have the uh, the tournament uh, Discord chat open. So like I can see whenever people are saying something, but I'm considering just closing it down. Because I don't want to say I don't want to see like the the spoiler thirty seconds before it happens. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just gonna close it down so I can't even read the chat right now. So if somebody wins or loses, I won't know. Soro and Skiku are my favorite OGs to be honest. I mean, right now we're gonna have Lokish instead of uh, Cirque in the tournament. Lokish is also very good, but Cirque was deemed to be a better dart player. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But Cirque just didn't respond. Uh, when we actually had to play. This is also the problem with hosting a live tournament. I had to make sure everybody like showed up at the exact same time, played the games live and everything. And it kind of, yeah. Lokish knocks everyone. The thing is, both Sorrow, Skiku, and Lokish are all YouTubers. Same as you, Sweat. You're also a blue. But all these people are all YouTubers, so they're all going to have like their own mini fan base, right? They're all going to have their own people rooting for them, which is, which is actually what's going to make this exciting. Yeah. Also, one thing you didn't notice that happened like just a couple rounds earlier yeah. and that was really wholesome from Gold Sheep. Zor sent like a set of grouped rainbows in accident. And then uh, I don't know if you saw, but like Gold Sheep sent a thumbs up and he sent a set of rainbows himself. That was like kind of a homey send. That was really neat. That was really wholesome for him. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like if, if somebody messes up, it's kind of the equivalent if you accidentally just boost, then your opponent boosts as well just to even the, the odds. Ooh, Sheep don't die here. Be careful. Gold and Sheep's out! Gold Sheep's out! Gold Sheep's out of the tournament. Sorrow wins 3-1. Wow. Sorrow wins 3-1, bro. That is that is crazy. Sheep is out round one. We're going to follow Sorrow into the semifinals. Sorrow will be facing Nitero. Nitero is also known as Chief's Prodigy. And Chief was a very, very high-level player who used to play between 2017 and 2020. Nitero, also known as Chief's Prodigy, is out for blood. Here we go, though. Starting on offside. They're probably going to go late. It's probably going to be like Dart Farm Super. Something like that, you know. I actually forgot to intro this game. So I will be narrating for a bit. They're both going for a farm. They're both going for minimal amount of defense, which is a Dart Monkey. This is in order to not leak too much. Now they're both going to be sending each other some bloons. Basically, you get your eco up a bit, which is going to help you in the long run. And you also try to force a little bit more defense on your opponent. This is like the big strategy part of early game. Anyway, right now you can see they're both probably going for either 306 eco, which is like the best optimal start, or they're going to be stopping at like 289. But we will see what they're going to be do doing. It looks like they're both going for 300 something ish. And right here, we're just saving the battles replay. All right, here we go. They're both sending. And right now, this is where you need to pay attention to lives. So as you can see right now, Soro actually is leaking a little bit less than the tarot because his darts are optimally placed and optimally timed. It's very, very difficult because you can see Nitero's darts kind of shoot at the same time, whereas Soro's shoot a little bit differently. But they're almost basically the same on lives. But Soro has one more life. No, two more lives now. As you can see, okay, now they both go for your, their plantations at the same time to try to get as much money as possible here. Now, what's going to be happening is in a little bit, they're probably going to be sending some green balloons, which would make sense. Yep, Nitero starts out, and notice how they're both sending a little bit of blues uh, instead of sending greens directly. It's actually to layer the balloons because the green balloons are slightly faster than the blue, uh, blue balloons. So this just makes sense to do. And right now, as you can see right here, the Soros actually leaking a little bit more than Nitero is. Nitero is doing very well at defending this, but Soro also didn't send the most optimal rush. So right now, as you can see, Soros at 57 lives, Nitero is at 91. But it's also just about getting a lot of eco right now, which they're both getting, and about forcing defense on your opponent. This is also a very, very good thing. Because if your opponent gets up defense, he has less money to go for farms. Soro has a slight eco advantage, it looks like. Never mind, Nitero is catching up. Sora now had to get up a Spolt, which is a little bit more expensive. Um, but yeah, it's always good to have, especially because round 8 you can send yellow, so you'll definitely need the Spolt. It's very good against group balloons. 
And right now, Soros sends a couple yellows. This is to force Natero's bolt. Now he has one as well. Because nobody wants the other to just go for a lot of farms and eco. You can't let your opponent greed. So right now, they both go for their second farm. Here we go. And Bloom Boosting. Okay, so Natero's Bloom Boosting yellows. This is actually to force a second spolt on Soros' side. And as you can see, Soros leaked a little bit. He had to put a spike down at the end. But the reason Natero did this is actually so that Soro didn't go for a second plantation. It's very, very technical. But now you can see Natero has a little bit more eco and Soro has two spolts instead. Now, they're both going to be sending just regular lead balloons here. This is to force the Juggernaut because none of them have lead defense. There we go. And Soro actually gets it up. But with that being said, guys, back to the stream. Natero versus Soro. <laughs> this should be fun. I mean, right now, I'd say Natero is probably slightly outplaying. He's got more, he's got a little bit more, uh, more eco. Soro caught up real quick. Are they going to go for the plant? They probably both should. Soro, go for your plantation. I know you're $60 short. There you go. All right, let's see. He's sending blacks. Does he want to bloom boost those? That's pretty stupid if he does that. Else he just doesn't force anything. Like he just did this for nothing. Yeah. Yep. That's interesting, I guess. Okay. Oh. Is that going to force a boost? It will. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's an easy boost. That's a, that's a very nice boost spot. forced. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Terra's retaliating. Awesome. Will Sora defend this without? He, might, he actually might. Yeah, Sora's yeah, yeah. chilling. Nice. This is, this is threatening. It's white spam. This is actually a huge W for Sora. Because Natero tried to force a boost back on Sora, but Sora defended without. So now, Natero is down to his last balloon boost, and Sora hasn't used a single uh, tower boost yet. Okay, they're going mixed eco. I doubt this is super then. If this was super, you would stop eco here and go for BIA. I'm pretty sure this yeah. is ace. Some, somebody said they agreed to go ace, which is fine. The only thing is, like, if somebody says they're going to go ace, the other can just cheat and go, like, super. Like, th there are no rules. You don't have to go ace if you don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, this is just mutual agreement out of, like, a gentleman's rule, but really, yeah. they can just disrespect if they want to. It, it's a gentleman's rule. Like, I'm not going to enforce it. If somebody has super and the other has ace, I'm not going to say the one who went super, like, broke any rules. Like, you can lie yep. to your opponents about what you're going. That's fine. It's start farm, and then whoever wins, wins. Ooh. Dude, round 16 layered rushes are always dangerous, bro. Nitero's doing very, very well in, in terms of eco here. Okay, Soros retaliating. He sold a farm. That was probably the smart move because, yeah, you, you had to. But now Soros He had trying no to... boost. He just cannot allow himself. Yeah. Oh, oh, my, my God. God. He just leaked a bunch there. Okay, that's, that's wild. Yeah, that's scary. He leaked down to 20 lives. Those spikes are popped, by the way. They don't actually exist. Yeah. By the way, as everybody's saying in chat, join the Discord server. The link is in the description below. Let me see. 71% of the votes have been towards Sorrow. People are voting for Sorrow to win here. All right, let's see. I mean, I right now, it's... It yeah, they're Zorro just both going... Eco. I think Natera's going to go for like 1.3k. It's the classic, you know, Soros ecoing as well. They're both just going, yeah, DFA and Vera eco. Yeah, this is for sure an ace play. You never play like this if you're a super. Yeah. Who is Natero anyway? Natero is uh, called Chief's Prodigy, which I don't know much about him. I, I have to be honest, but he's very known in the, in the comp community. A lot of people know him, and I think he's a respected player. So Yeah, yeah, he's actually yeah. been around for a very long time. Like, ever since I started the game... Like first, first like two weeks of me starting this game, I I heard of him. Like I got I I got to know him, like talk to him a little. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah it's actually I've actually known him for a very very long time. Like one of the longest in the entire BTG community. So Sinner just said CP sweep. Uh, so Ch Chiefs Prodigy, aka Natero sweeps. Yeah, yeah. So he thinks yeah, he's yeah, gonna yeah. 3-0. And let's see what else. Melly Ray said Natero is the new upcoming T1 dart. All right. Savit has has a. Uh, has Someone's saying y'all are right meat now. riding Sorrow so hard. The thing is, we just like Sorrow. Like if 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 Sorrow loses, that's fine. They're just hella ecoing both of them. I think right here, what you want to do is you want to basically go for as much eco as you can, and then you need around twenty two factory. So I think they both have to stop around now, and they need the round twenty two factory. Yep, this is exactly what's going on right now. I think probably they both boost creeds because they needed to afford fac, yeah. at least afford the four two. It's worth it to Do, do you think Natero is is it worth for Natero to waste his last boost? I will quickly find boost greed. When you guys get rushed, instead of placing more defense down, you can use a boost so that you can greed and get up more money instead. It's a risky play. 
Okay, they both go for it. I don't know if they're right. going to boost. Sin- actually, Sinner, thinks, uh, Sinner thinks Natero is going to either 3-0 or 3-1 Soro. I Damn. mean, we'll see. Like, again, this is what I mean. Soro is very slept on. A lot of people underestimate Soro. None of them boost created. Okay. Yeah, I guess I expected it, but really the farms in the game were high enough to where it barely allowed. They both have a lot of eco. There. They're both doing very, very well eco-wise. Yeah, but Zoro has a boost on, on the Terra right now. Yeah, true. And it, I mean, it's ver- it's fairly even. The Terra has 100 extra eco, but when you have 1.5k, that 100 really doesn't make a big difference. Yeah, um, right now I would say Zoro's actually outplaying. Yeah, I'd say too. Just he has that extra boost. That extra boost does a whole lot. Money is basically the same. I think Zoro, ha- Zoro might have little bit extra defense perhaps like an extra yeah. an extra trip like it's really it's really close they both no, have no, no. Natura has three jugs Zoro has oh yeah Natura does have three why does he have three jugs right now sell like a jug oh okay there he goes there we go <laughs> he did exactly as i said i was like yeah i was wondering why are you not selling a jug all right they might be screen here yeah this is definitely a boost screen spot i think yeah. i don't know how they defend boost this like at least Zoro. i should just said oh, not yeah. gonna lie knowing yeah. Zoro's turtle micro i think Child's Prodigy, or C- just call him Natero, bro. I, I'm getting confused. He thinks Natero uh, will win, basically. Yeah. You don't think Soro survives that long? I mean, Soro has actually decent micro. Like, yeah, of course, there are people who have way better micro than him, but Soro has decent micro. Like, he's not slow. I'll define micro quickly, too. Basically, when you can place down a tower, upgrade it quickly, use the ability, sell it, and replace it. Like, he's known for having at least good micro, though. Like, and maybe not the best, but he's known for having a micro, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, this should actually be in Natura's favorite to get a late game. I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure he has better micro than Zoro. Yeah, I mean, if they're going oh, late... Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, they defend. Oh, battles TV glitch, bro. I just thought for a sec there, damn. Okay, Natura's the- out farming yeah. right now. Natura's just out farming. Yeah, I saw the trips at the end. I thought that was it, but no, they defended. Yeah. All right, yes. Yeah, okay, so this is... Okay, he's not outfarming too bad, but he's outfarming slightly. He has more eco, he's outfarming slightly. Like, when this does go late, and right now they're just both doing the little dirty ace micro. And Natero and, 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 and follows it beautifully all around the track, bro. And a, ace microing is just such a... So it's a nice thing. It's so soothing to watch. But yeah, Natero is form. slightly... It is. It is an art form. Natero is slightly out farming here. Yes, Not crazy. Out farming they're, both, they're both going to have a lot of farms, but I think Natero will end up with like one extra factory once they go very late. I think Natero could... Like, I think this transposes into a 10k outplay. Yeah. Wait, it's sort of fine. Does he die to the troll crush? Nah, he just goes uh, for the ace. Okay, fair. he doesn't. Also, I think I just said Natero instead of Zara. My bad. <laughs> uh, Zara's chilling. Yeah, yeah Natero's chilling. Zara's chilling too. But Zara right. Sora has the one extra boost, which once you go a little bit later might help him out a bit with CMGs and stuff. Uh, so that might make up for it. Like Natero's gonna have a slight little bit of extra money. Sora has a little extra boost just to make up for it. But I think Natero will end up with either one or maybe two factories, depending on greed. But Sora's I think, just trying to I catch up is, right now. Uh, this is going to be like a one flag difference for boosts uh, in the end. Yeah. I don't sure like the way Sora cool. plays his factories. They don't look good. Yeah, like when all the factories get set and they stop farming, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a one flag difference for Natero, and Zoro will have a boost instead of that one flag. I'm pretty yeah. sure Zoro would be in a better position. Yeah. 72% voted Sora's going to win, but then again, people haven't seen Natero play. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Honestly, like this is anyone's game. Don't think that don't, it don't think that uh, Zoro is gonna in, uh, sorry Natara is gonna insta lose just because like you haven't seen him play. Yeah, he's exactly. actually not good in the competitive community. Yeah, he is. But I mean, they've just seen Zoro swipe gold feet, or not? He didn't swipe. He, he three won him gold feet. Gold feet. Gold sheep. We just we just gold. saw everybody gold. just saw Zoro do that right, and now they're watching Natara. Don't worry about it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, but yeah, I mean, people just saw Soro do something incredible that nobody expected of him. And now everybody's saying, or all the pro players are saying Natero's going to win, right? Like Sinner saying it, Melly, I think, is also saying it. Like, pe- people are just thinking Sor- or uh, Natero's going to win this one. But then again, I hate I'm, Soros farms. Really they look Zoro, weird. I don't know. I think this could be Natero's game as well. Yeah. Soro, get up another... I-, I don't like the fact that you only have 
one Spectre. Please get up two. Let me count factories here. So we this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Our right, Natera's twelve. Sora has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's Sora actually has 12 as well. They're equal in farms. Damn, okay, they're equal in it. Okay. Alright, Sora went for the second Spectre. Wait, is Zoro better farms-wise? I think he is. Nah, they both have 12. No, no, but I think, like, money in hand-wise, I'm pretty sure Zoro has more, actually. Eh, perhaps. The thing is, I think I think uh, Natero's like miss rushing right now. I don't think a bunch of like group space CMGs is the way to go, like he's doing right now. Because Soro can just go ahead and like round zero them all at the same time, whereas Natoro he has to do a little bit more for it. Then again, Natoro is just spamming Spectres right now, which is also a very good strategy, especially when playing DFA. Like none of these people want to choke right now. Yeah, he, I think Zoro, yeah, Zoro's going for four fan clubs. He does not have to micro them while microing the GZs. Yeah, That's yeah. a very fair play. Especially with back. all this money, four fan clubs just the way to go. I he think Natero, I like Natero strat more where you go for a bunch of uh, Spectres here. I think it's probably the better play as well. Yeah, I agree, honestly. But he's also just adjusting to what Zoro's doing because Zoro didn't send him that many CMGs right away. Zor already selling a couple farms here. It's round 34. It's okay yeah. to sell farms. Natera's also sold end. two farms. Like, they've both sold a couple farms. Yeah, once, the once this round ends, it's okay to sell farms. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, round 34 is very short. That That's one of the big late game rounds. Okay, Zor's allowed in round 35. He's praying that he doesn't have the micro to defend, which is honestly a misplay, in my opinion. You should just do round 36. They're both sending groups at each other round 35, though. So, I mean, Zoro just has, yeah, he just has to, like, spam GZ cell farms and keep sending. That's exactly what he's doing right now. He's completely in the right. So this is going to be the micro face-off. Intense late game micro. Here we are. This is the content for you guys. Hey, boost. Oh, tower boost. Oh, nice. Zoro getting value out of that boost. And they're yeah, both just all out. Of, like, whoever has the best micro here, if Natoro's micro is that good, this round 35 shouldn't really do him too bad. Like, you just want to, like, spam down GZs right now. Wait, the Taurus micro Zoro... isn't looking too good. I actually think if Sora defends this, I think the Taurus just dies. I think Sora's running out of money though. Uh, I don't know. He still has a is Sora good? This is so close for both of them. Oh, wow. Nitoro died. Oh, Yo, like people are just underestimating Sorrow. Yo, literally, that game was the best. That, bro. that was actually the best game we've had so far. Game number two, and it's a best of five as well in the semifinals. The semifinals are a best of five, and then the finals are going to be a best of seven. Nitoro went for the anti star. Wait, I know what's going on here. Nitoro's going with. This is Celtic as a sign of whiz, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah, not. Nah, yeah, Nitoro's 100% going whiz here. That's why you anti star. Yeah. Sora's probably going DFA. Yeah, I'm assuming this is DFA versus Dart Wiz. And yeah. playing correctly. He needs. To I, I think. It. I think Dart Dart Wiz just wins. Yeah. Like, unless you're is. very skilled. I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sin Sinful could win with DFA, but unless you're very very skilled here, like Dart Wiz just wins. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this could this could be Natero's game if he plays his cards right. Because yeah. I mean, he has the game sense from like playing years of comp, uh, with like all strats. Zoro is more of like a DFA mm. exclusive player. I mean, his his YouTube handle is literally Zoro DFA. So yeah, Zoro <laughs> Zoro DFA. It actually says a lot. Yeah, says a lot when you think about it. And I got a bit off topic. I will take over. So right now, Zoro versus Natero. We can see Natero is actually playing kind of differently than he usually does. Right now, he is not going for a farm. He's instead going for a lot of eco, and he's also anti stalling, meaning he's trying to end the round quickly right now we can see sorrow is doing pretty okay he got the farm up quicker he's about to go for a plantation in a little bit here which he should do at one minute 42 seconds yes he did and nitero doesn't have a plantation so nitero will actually lose out on a little bit of money here right now nitero is being aggressive sending a bunch of green blooms to sorrow so just sending a little bit of space but i assume sorrow is going to try and rush him back we will see. Right now, Sorrow is going to be fine to this because Green Bloons aren't honestly too bad to defend, especially on round six. And it's not like Natero sent too many. I think Natero should have sent a bigger rush to actually have a bigger impact here. But now we're going into round seven and Sorrow is actually the one sending a big rush right now. And Sorrow is going to be catching up in eco slightly while he also has a plantation giving him a little bit more money each round. So that's actually incredible. Anyway, back to stream. Yeah, this is looking to be Wiz versus A. So far, 
Intel has 50 more eco, but they're about similar in money, and so has a plantation, which Netero doesn't have. So obviously that's that's the cost of anti stalling the early rounds. But at least Nintendo's using that money to turn into a drain game, which is definitely what you want when you get outlasted. By the way, guys, a drain game is when both players are very low on money, but they still constantly go for kill rushes while also trying to defend. I mean, right now it's looking looking good for uh, for Sora. Sora has decent eco. His farms are okay, but yeah, Nintendo's definitely going uh, whiz a hundred percent. Yeah, we're going to see the Wiz in round 10. This is guaranteed. Yeah, especially because he's just playing the way he is. Like, that is a Wiz gameplay. Like, if you play that with Ace, you're crazy. Yeah, he literally could, all, could also just be wild and pull out, like, a chip or something, but I doubt it. Yeah. Right, yeah show us the Wiz, Natero. Show us the Wiz. No what? Way, no he goes way, for a jug. Bug. No way. I don't believe it. I don't. I do not buy it. This is bait. Does he have Wiz? He just doesn't want to show us because he doesn't want us to be right. <laughs> But he's just hiding it. Yeah, I'm sure that's what's going on, bro. How you do you know Natera has Wiz? Because he went anti saw in the beginning, and he's playing like Dart from Wiz would play on this map. Bro, you have to be out of your mind. I see. I see. Just said. One. I see. Just said he has Ace. I mean, I mean, I'm curious now. We'll see. No, you gotta be out of your mind to anti stall round one with Ace. Though, why would you do that? It makes no sense. Like, look how far down he is in farms, just because of that. Like, yeah. he sacrificed swamps for anti-stall. Sure, it makes sense if you're not getting outlasted. Oh, sorry, if you are getting outlasted, but... Yeah, Melly Ray not, says he's but... pretty sure he has ace as well. Yeah, but that makes no sense, though. Like, why isn't Terra playing that way? I Sure, he has ace. He went for Jug, but still, makes no sense to me. Oh, yeah. All right. Definitely played that was. Okay, yeah, they were just both being aggressive. Or at least Natero's being aggressive now. Sora should be okay to that, hopefully. Push down yeah, some spikes. Don't, don't choke to the Sorrow. It's very easy to die to like an early choke rush. Like, look how much Sorrow just leaked there. Down to 18 lives. You anti saw so that if they go farm, you can eco more on a map like this. You can get more leaks, and a drain game is more manageable. Uh, someone, just said, I, you someone just said, I see you lost. Stop giving tips. <laughs> <laughs> True. Bro, people just, I don't know, flaming I see. I see didn't win one game. I feel I kind of feel bad for Icy because he did out farm once and then he dies to camos because he didn't know to upgrade his dart. Bro, he's getting flamed so hard that Ice is low key melting, bro. Yeah. Yo, is Natoro good here? Yo, wait, wait, wait. Natoro, oh, okay, he's uh, chilling. Okay, he had to sell a farm for that. That's crazy. All right, this is like a, just an extreme late game. All right, Sorrow does go for the ace. All right, understandable. Be careful though, Sorrow. Yeah, you're chilling. You're fine. And then, yeah, Sora's just yeah, going... Correct, they're right? just preparing for drain game here. Natero has a little bit more eco. Sora has the extra farm and an ace up. But Natero does have a jug. So we'll, we'll see. And I actually missed this next play. But as we can see here, Sorrow is rushing directly here. Natero has two jugs. But this actually forces a boost from Natero, which is very, very good. Sora did a master play right here. And it looks like Sora is just playing this better overall. Right now, we can see Sorrow is... Following up with another rush right here. He's sending a Moab. So let's see. Sora is about to rush. He follows up with a little bit of stuff behind. Nitero will have to defend this without his uh, tower boost. Because it's not available to him right now. It seems like Nitero is going to die here unless he fan clubs. This is not looking good for Nitero. Is he going to be good to that? And no, Nitero does die. Sora wins again. Nitero cannot lose from now on. Nitero needs to go try hard. Here we go. Third game <laughs> yeah. they're playing. Bro. This is this is uh, exciting. Interchange, yeah, great map. All right, interchange. They're probably both going to go DFA again. Yeah, this is this is ace, one hundred percent. Nitero has the better spot. Zoro has a spot I disagree with. Yeah, I don't like that. I, Nitero, Nit I like Nitero spot one hundred percent. I think that's yeah, the best yeah. one. Nitero spot and then. Probably, like, you can go for one in the middle. You can also be a degenerate and go for one on the left side. Um, no, I like no, no, this no. spot, go, and then I, I like for... this one right here. Do you see where my mouse is? Yeah, yeah. This is the second spot I usually pick. So, like, this is the first no, one, this what is the I second used... one. Exactly what Zoro uses right now, this is what I use, except that I go for the spot where he has his zero one dot first, yeah. then the spot where he has his trip. This is what people generally use. That's Like, that's what Nintero is using right now. And I agree with him. Sorrow has Cause... that on close. Yeah, I, I prefer Nitero's uh, either. I like yeah, having the, one up here, but... Yeah, Zoro's spot is kind of the OG spot, the one that was used, like, uh, years ago. But then it kind of switched to Nitero's spots. And honestly, I completely agree with that, because uh, 
the, just the trip that he has here, you can literally leave it on first, and it's one of the best trip spots in the entire game. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. there are very few trip spots I can think of that are better than this one. There's, like, the one on Moon Landing. That's pretty much about it. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so we got a little bit distracted by the possible finals matchup. I will give a hint, though. There are very impressive games in the finals. But going back to this game right now, you can see how Sora and Natera almost has similar play right here. Sora starting off with sending some green balloons. He's probably trying to force a little bit more defense onto Natero. And it's working. Natero had to get up another 0-2 Dart Monkey right now. Natero's only sending space black balloons. This is to, one, get up his eco a little bit. And two, actually try and maybe force a couple leaks on Sora. It's very, very minor damage. But as you can see, if you look at noob level gameplay, nobody ever just sends a bunch of balloons and balloon boost right away and sending regions early on. They are all playing very, very calculated. They're trying to go for farms. They're also trying to go for eco, but like very mixed and very calculated. So it's very interesting to actually see if you study this and you watch the play. But right now, as you can see, Nitero can probably go for farm here if he wanted to. But I think he's getting, yeah, he's expecting Sora to rush with yellows. So he had to get up a spolt right there. And Sora got up a spolt as well. Okay. So Nitero goes for another farm. Sora's probably going to go for one right now. There we go. All right, now they both have similar farms. Sora's up a little bit on eco. He has like 40 more eco. Nitero got his farm slightly quicker. So you can see it's still very, very even here. And this is the thing. It's kind of hard to outplay a really good player early game. So none of these people are going to be outplaying each other right here. What's actually going to be happening is, oh, look at that. Sora's, Sora's chilling. Sora had to get up a third trip darn and he had to spike just to be able to defend this yellow rush right here. And he still leaked down a little bit. Now Nitero is sending him a... Ooh, they're sending Let's, but Sora's actually being more aggressive with the Let's. Okay, so Sora has to get up a Juggernaut here. There you go, Sora. But Sora's also going to be the one aggressive here. The reason Sora can be aggressive here is because Nitero was aggressive with the yellows. Sora waited before being aggressive, so now Sora actually gets to be the one who gets to be aggressive this time. It's kind of funny. You can't be aggressive all around. If you're aggressive one round, you might not be able to do the same next round. All right, so as we can see here, Nitero chokes. Sorrow goes to the finale. Nobody expected this. Everyone called him trash, but he is now in the finals. There are massive games ahead. Loki versus Sorrow, the finale, the best of seven. This is game number one they're going into. They're starting on offside, and this is probably the most exciting match because Sorrow is the underdog. He was the last seeded player, seed eight out of all eight players, whereas Gold Sheep was seed one, meaning... The expectations were Gold Sheep was going to be the best, Sora was going to be the worst in this tournament. But right now, Sora is actually just dominating everything. And Locust as well. Nobody ever really expected Locust to be high up. People underestimated him as well. They thought he was going to be an easy win. But Locust is actually a very good player too. So this is just really, really exciting right here. Okay, so as we can see, game one. We're starting off. Sorrow's going for a bunch of red balloons. Locus is going for a bunch of red balloons as well. They're probably going to go to like 304. That is what I personally would do. Just because if you go to between 304 eco and 306, it means that you can get up a plantation at 1 minute and 42 seconds. So right here, as we can see, they're both just sending. And they only went for a 0-1 dart. But they're probably going to get up a 0-2. Yep, they are both upgrading the second one to a 0-2. And right now, their, uh, their trip dart is targeted to close. And their 0-2 dart is actually targeted to last. And this is just to prevent mo like maximum leaks. So right now they're doing their best to not leak too much here. None of them, keep in mind, they have the money, but none of them want to upgrade the second dart to a trip dart here. The reason why is because it would cost too much money. They would rather leak the extra lives to be able to go for a plantation, which they're both going for right now. 1 minute 42 seconds and they both went for the plantation. But if they went for that trip dart, they would have to wait probably an extra 12 seconds. And none of them want to do that. They want maximum eco and they want maximum farms. And they're willing to lose a couple of lives for it. So yeah, losing lives is not a big deal when it actually comes to pro gameplay. The only the only life that actually matters is the last one. That's I've been told that so many times. You don't obviously you don't want to leak down too much uh, early on right here. As we can see, Locus is actually being very very aggressive with these uh, green balloons. Uh, so yeah, this this is this is where like you have to target your darts a little bit. And yeah, it's looking like Sora is actually leaking quite a bit here. But Lo Locus and Sora both got up another dart. But as you can see, Locus didn't leak as much. But Locus did use one more spike. So Sora has two spikes left, which you can kind of consider to be worth 20 lives each. 
because you can just place them at the end and they'll they're gonna block out 20 20 uh, levels worth of balloons so here we go sorrow actually goes straight for the spolt here on round seven smart move i probably would have done the same but okay so sorrow's sending a little bit of space balloons here what sorrow is waiting for is round eight where he can send a bunch of yellows to locust so here locust could go for a farm but he probably shouldn't yeah locust is going for the spolt as well just to save those yellow balloons okay very very great good play Okay, now Locust goes for the farm. Sorrow goes for the farm as well. Sorrow has 15 more eco, but the game is still still quite even. The thing is, Sorrow is up one spike. But I would still say Sorrow is a little bit down because he has less lives. But their farms, their money, everything is almost completely even. It's actually very impressive gameplay to watch. Now, Sorrow is going to be sending a bunch of yellows here round 9. Yellows on round 9 can actually be quite effective because they're layering well with the AI balloons. So... You're not just only sending yellows, but you're also sending the AI balloons next to it, which is crazy. So here, Sora has way more eco, but Locus has a plantation on, on him. Now, they're both going to be sending each other a regular lead balloon here. This is just to force the Juggernaut. And then going into round 11, you can actually send your opponent quite, quite a big rush here in order to force more defense. If I was Sora, I would probably go for the second plantation because these rounds are quite short. And the plantations is just going to give you more money, especially like on shorter rounds. Because eco is one thing. Eco you get every six seconds. But your plantations, you get seven bananas per round. So you're going to get more bananas in a shorter round if that makes sense versus if it's a longer round. So you definitely want, if you could choose, you definitely want it on shorter rounds. Because it's not going to be compared as much to eco. But it's still fine. Right now, Locus is a little bit up in farm. Sora is a little bit up in eco. It looks like none of them are going to be able to go for BIAs anyway. Um, so yeah, it looks like this is just going to be a regular aggressive late game. And I think they also both agreed to go with, uh, Dart Farm and Ace. So I think they're playing Ace gameplay here. They're not playing Super. So that's also very interesting. Right now they have the exact same defense, except Sora has another 0-0 Dart. And it looks like Locust is a little bit up. Locust is actually going to go for the bank. Oh, that's interesting. Locust goes for the bank gameplay. All right, now Sorrow is... Oh, Sorrow's boosting here. So Locus had to sell in order to get up a Juck there just to defend. Okay, all right. That's an interesting play. All right, going into round 16, Locus is probably going to be rushing Sorrow. We, we will see how it goes. Yes, Locus is rushing. Sorrow has to be more defensive now. Because Locus has plenty of defense, so Sorrow can't really do too much here. So what you got to do now, Sorrow, get up your defense. Okay, Sorrow has two Juggernauts and two Spolts. He is completely fine here. It's not an issue for Sora at all. All right, round 17. Round 17 is a chill round. Nothing ever really happens here. The reason why pro players don't rush round 17 is because look at the AI. The AI is just spaced, camo, yellows. Nobody cares about it. You can't layer with it. There's nothing. You can't send a up yet. You have to wait till round 18. Now, Sora goes for round 17 BIA. Ooh, that's interesting. I probably wouldn't do that if I was Sora. This seems very, very greedy. But we'll see, because now Sorrow needs to be on the defensive, because Locus is going to rush him. And Locus is going to rush him a lot. So, yeah, Sorrow can't rush him back, because Sorrow needs all his money for defense. So, he'll defend the first uh, Moab here. As you can see, Sorrow's doing fine here. But now there's going to come a second one out. The reason why Locus is sending Let's behind is because if Sorrow sells his two Juggernauts, then he won't be able to defend those lead balloons. So yeah, Locust keeps on sending leads. But there we go. Sorrow managed to collect his BI and sell enough defense. He managed to get up. Um, he yeah, he managed to get up his Super Monkey Faint Club, bro. That is that is crazy. We very well defense from Sorrow here. Very very well. Now it goes for the ODS just in case there's a follow up rush. And now Sora is actually going to be the one rushing. Ooh, okay, this is this is very bad for Locust. This is very bad timing for Locust right now. Because he just greeted for his own BIA, round 19. And now he's probably dead. I don't think that's going to be enough to bloom boost it. No, I think Locust is going to die to this. You only have four trips. That's not going to be... That's not going to cut it, bro. Oh, he had to sell. Locust had to sell. That is crazy. Oh my god, Sora had to boost because of the AI. That that's that is so wild. Look how precise they both are. You have to win four games though. Best of seven. Game two starts now. Game two. Sora versus Lokish is starting up right now. It looks like they are playing on interchange and they're both just going for trip darts in the beginning. So it's basically every other beginning that we've seen so far. You can't really start to really create counterplay and try and outplay your opponent until at least the mid game. In the mid game, you can do it in the early game. Against a good player, it's very rare that you actually get to outplay him. 
so right now it's going to be pretty much even but as we can see right now two minutes 30 seconds into the game roughly and eco is basically the same defense is basically the same right here they're both sending just some green blooms trying to force a little bit more defense on the other but let's see here sara actually went for another trip dart okay that's interesting so locust might leak a little bit more lives here but sara went for extra defense i don't know if that trip dart was a good idea for sara maybe i think yeah he's trying to, okay so he just forced a spolt on locust right now he might be trying to force that third trip dart i don't know both of their eco looks pretty nice locust goes for another farm is sara gonna follow lead and do the same he is okay beautiful so what is going to be happening right now is I think Locust should rush Sorrow here on round 9. Could be a smart move, maybe to force the Spolt. Okay, no. Sorrow is actually the one rushing. Okay, this means if Sorrow is rushing now with just a little bit of stuff for some reason, this means Locust can be the one who's aggressive on round 11. So yeah, they're both going to be sending a let because they want to go ahead and try to force the Jug on the other opponent here. Locust gets up a Juggernaut right away. Sora has to wait a little bit because he doesn't have the money quite yet. There he goes. All right. Now Sora actually has to be the one who's like passive. So as we can see here, Sora does go for another trip dart. Okay, interesting. Well played, Sora. And it looks like he's, yeah, completely fine now. And now Sora counters. Okay, so Sora sold that trip dart and now he balloon boosts some, uh, just some regular white balloons. Okay. Sora has really, really good eco here compared to Lokish. Lokish might go ahead and send a big round 13 rush, I could imagine. No, okay, Lokish actually goes for the farm. Okay, Lokish goes for a plantation and another one zero farm. This is very interesting. So now Sora is up 100 eco roughly, but Lokish is up a little bit in farms. Let's see how it's going to go into round 14. Sora goes ahead and gets rushed. Okay, Lokish is rushing with some zebras and some white balloons. And Sora immediately boosts and he counters... All right, so Sora's going to be balloon boosting Seepers and White Blooms and even more Seepers behind. Okay, this is a very scary rush for Locust unless he defends it correctly. Okay, Locust looks to be fine. Forced a boost. So now they're both down a boost each. And it doesn't look for Locust like he's going to be getting up a BIA. He's going for the bank like usual. Sora is going ahead and he's rushing even more. Locust has to be careful. This is the one thing you can't do. Right after a boost, you can never greed. This might cost Locust the game. And yeah, it's not looking good for him. Is he going to be able to save that? Don't know. And oh, Locust one life. No, Locust dies. Two more wins and Sorrow beats Locust. Literally nobody expected Sorrow to be here. Huge underdog. Let's start game three. Okay, Is Sorrow um, just going to 4 0 in the finale here? 4 0 in the finale would be crazy. Zoro just showing absolute dominance right now. The underdog just terrorizing the entirety of the tourney. If you guys finish the tournament quick, I can probably get to McDonald's before 3 a.m. when they close. And I'll come in. All right. So, what is happening right now? They both went for their start farm right here and as you can see Soro actually decided to put down a spike whereas locust didn't locust decided to not use a spike the only difference this makes right is once you're going round 18 you can use the spikes on a moab to do more damage to it early which is like where it actually sometimes makes sense to not use your spikes but it's such a minor difference that a lot of pro players they don't really care about it because they think eh, i can i can defend the moab either way so it doesn't matter right uh, but yeah, it, it's it's just funny to see how sometimes people just play a little bit differently. Um, and yeah, right here, there's also a little bit of different placement between the darts. You can see Locust placed his dart a little further up there, where Sorrow placed his second dart closer to his trip dart. But they both have the exact same trip dart placement, because this is the best trip dart spot. It's just perfect, especially when it's on first. Right now, it looks like Sorrow has his on strong. Yep, and now he placed it on first, I think. Yeah, beautiful. And Locus, it looks like the same. So, yeah, for now, right now, these people are just having to play. Or Locus, no, Locus actually has his on last. Okay, that's kind of odd. But, yeah, they're both just trying to send as much as possible. They both leak kind of the same. Uh, the thing is, Locus is up a uh, whole spike, so you can't take lives into consideration. But they both have basically the same lives. They go for 303 Eco. They're both going for their plantation here. And now we're going into round six to see how they play. Okay, so here they're both going to be sending some black balloons. And Sora's... Okay, Sora's the one who's uh, going to be aggro first, sending a bunch of greens. Oh, never mind. Locust is too. All right, interesting. So, yeah, all you need to do here, because greens are so easy to defend on this map, you don't even need a spolt. All you need to do here is actually just go ahead 
get up like another zero two and you're chilling. Unless you're unless they're sending infinite greens, but since they're not, that's all you need. Right now, Locust didn't. Locust has pretty poor targeting here, and he get, went for the zero one first of all. So Locust actually ended up leaking a bit more than Soro. Soro's playing this pretty well. Soro also has a little bit more eco. Uh, so yeah, it looks like Locust is back to sending more greens at the end of round seven. I definitely wouldn't be doing this if I was Locust. So as you can see right now, Soro went for a Spolt, which you're supposed to do. Get great play on Soro, but Locust actually had to go for the third trip. This is not very good because he's not going to keep that third trip. So if Locust might as well sell it because here he needs to get a Spolt anyway. And now that he has a Spolt, he needs to sell that third trip. And when you sell Towers, you actually lose a bit more money because you only get 80% of the, uh, the the cost back. So here we go. Soro sells his, uh, his trip or his 0-2 dart, I mean. And right here, you can see Sora has a little bit more eco, a little bit more money. Sora's just doing better money, like money related overall. And this is also because Locus has another useless trip. The third one isn't doing him any favors here. Now they're both going for Jux right here. All right. Okay. And now they're getting ready to go for a Spolt here as well. So Locus is going to go ahead and send just a little bit of a round 11 rush. All Sora needs is a Spolt and he's fine. The thing is, I don't know why Locus has three trips right now. I mean, it's that he could sell one of them, go for probably go for like a spolt or something if he needed to. But that third trip, he might as well use that money for greeting. But we'll see how uh, how this game plays out right now. So currently, it looks it looks pretty good for uh, for Sora right now. Sora has really good eco as well. Farms are close to the same, and now he forced. Oh my God, he forced a boost. Okay, this might force Sora to boost as well. We'll see. Is Sora good to this? Yeah, Sora's just chilling. That didn't force a boost at all. Locust sent a really bad rush there. But as you can see right now, Locust has a lot of defense. Sora has a little less defense. And Sora's even up, which is crazy. Sora's up a boost here, and Locust is just not doing great. So I would say definitely, Sora's definitely just playing better here. He's up a boost. He's up slightly in eco. And yeah, he's just doing better. Okay, so Locust goes for around 14 bank, which is... Again, bank is just a weird play, but if you played if you played well, it can work out. So right here, let's see. How is Sora playing this one? Looks looks fine for Sora right now. Yeah, let's see. Oh, he's bloom boosting. Okay, they're both bloom boosting. Okay, they should both actually be fine to this because they both have plenty of defense. And Sora's about to leak. He'd probably just go for another trip, but he's actually chilling. He, they both have like f three spolts and a juggernaut. They're both like just playing really well here. So yeah, I'd, I'd say it's, I'd say they're both doing well. But Sora's about to go for the round seventeen BIA. It looks like, or is he? I don't know. Oh, he actually is. Okay, Sora went for the BIA. That is very interesting. And let's see here. Okay, Locus goes ahead and sends a Moab. And yeah, Sora needs to try and defend this one. This is kind of the same gameplay we saw in the original one. But okay, as you can see right here, Sora just goes ahead and just straight up boosts. Okay, this is the correct way to defend it. But now Locus is going to send another one, hoping that Sora doesn't have the money to defend it. And we'll see. Now he's bloom boosting. Sora will need to do something here. He can't sell his Jug. He has to collect. Yep. Okay, Sora actually looks to be doing fine here. Very well done, Sora. Very well done. Be careful. Yep, he is. Okay, nice. So this is definitely very, very good for Sora right now. Sora is completely chilling. He goes for a second Juggernaut. Okay, cool. All he has to do is get up some trips and he's fine. All right, let's see. Now Sora actually goes ahead and starts to rush. This is very, very well timing by Sora because Sora knows that Locus is about to go for the BIA. So Sora makes sure to def rush with that right away, like immediately. Ooh, is Locus good here? I don't know if he is, maybe. Okay, yeah, yeah. Locus is fine. Locus is chilling. Well done. Now Sora goes ahead and he sends a little bit more. And this is where Locus needs to needs to defend this by going ahead and getting up a faint club. That's the only way Locus defends. Okay, it looks good for Locus. Locus is chilling. Okay, so right now they're both chilling. I'd say Sora's probably up a little bit. Because Locus had to collect recently. Where Sora might have a little bit more money in his BIA. But we'll see. 
Weird rush by Sora, but it looks like Sora's just going for eco right now. Okay, as we can see here, yeah, it's it's looking it's looking a little bit in favor for Sora. Sora's up of he's up eco. Farms are basically the same, but he probably has a little bit more in his BIA. And Sora's up a whole boost, and that boost is actually going to make a difference once we go late game. That's here. They're both trying to send a little bit of stuff to layer on round 22 with the ceramics. This can easily kill your opponent if they're not paying attention. So it's definitely a very, very good rush sent by both players. But Sora got up three jugs, so Sora is completely chilling here. And yeah, he he's just doing fine. Sora's doing fine. Except it looked like one of those jugs was targeted on, on close, which was a little weird to see, but it's fine. So they both have a Republic now. They're both having their BIAs just cook up completely here. Round 23, nothing too exciting is actually happening. What they actually need to do right here is go for as many farms as possible, and then we go into the late game. So let's see. Right now... No, right now, nothing exciting is really happening. Round 23 is a long and kind of boring round. But once we get into round 24, that's when I assume they will both try and go for a factory. And that's when there's also going to be some kill options. Because round 24, some people sometimes decide to go ahead and sell a jug. Sell a little bit of defense just so you can greed. Just so you can get up that factory in time. They both go for the factory. Are they going to send the other anything? No, they're not. Okay, so it looked like they were both kind of scared of getting sent something. So instead of rushing the other, they both just went for extra defense. Sora now has three jugs, two spolts. Same with Locust. They don't actually need this much defense, but they are both just worried that the other will rush. It's it's kind of funny to see. Like they're, they're both instead of like rushing the other, they're both just defending because they're anticipating a rush. Round twenty five is can be very difficult to defend uh, unless you have the defense. Sora actually boosts greets here. Okay, this is when you get a little bit too little defense, but you end up using a boost in order to greet. Locust does the same thing, although I would say it's probably not worth it in Locust's case, because all he needed to do was get up another jug and he was fine. Locust didn't really get anything out of that boost greed the same way Sorrow did. So I would say Sorrow definitely has the biggest advantage here, especially considering the fact that he still has his BIA. And yeah, round 26, right now they're both... Well, Sora's just sending a little bit to go for some eco here. All right. Sora has 1,500 eco. Locus has 1,248. But back to the stream. Also, one tiny detail that's been bothering me the whole time. You see Zoro's dot, like the one on the first red uh, red line. It's still on last since round one. And oh. that bothers me a lot. That's actually kind of annoying. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, you probably didn't even notice it, but it bothers me. Oh, are you talking about this one? The one I'm holding my mouse yeah, to yeah, right yeah. now? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's actually hella annoying. Except for Sig, you'll get three burgers for free, as promised. Let's go. Look, it's targeting that last Moab. Look, look, it's literally targeting the last. So oh, it crazy. actually is, bro. Can, Sora, can you please target that on strong, at least? Or first? Yeah, yeah, come on. Put it on first. Come, like, Sorrow, please. All right, I think Sorrow is definitely winning this one. He's more eco. He's out farming by quite a bit, and he's up a boost. Sorrow's just playing this better. Like, there we go. He said it back. He listened. Wait, who said who? Wait, oh, he put it on first. Let's go. Thank he you, Sorrow. He listened. Let's go. We all need a hashtag GoFundMe burger. All right, Sorrow, you have to win this now. You're out farming Lokish. You're up a boost, and you're more eco. Sorrow's just out playing this entire game. The only way Sora loses is if he chokes. So as long as he doesn't choke, he's fine. So Zora, if you lose, your mom will die. That's brutal for a live stream. But yes. Buddy, you said this to me all the time. Yeah, underdog story for the hundred time W Sora. This this is this is gonna be crazy, bro. Sora winning this is actually gonna be crazy. If it does happen, you never know. Lokesh maybe comes back. That is true. I mean, Lokish could make a comeback. The thing is, if even if Sora wins this, they have to play one more. Because if Sora wins, it's 3-0. It's a best of seven. So Lokish still has time. Like, And, and it would be comeback of the year as well if Sora actually ended up uh, losing or winning this one and, and then Lokish does a reverse sweep. Bro, it's literally underdog versus underdog. It actually is. They're both underdogs. I would say Sora is definitely the upper dog in this matchup right now. But the best player... like. Bolchi ran out first tournament. He was against Sorrow. He just got out. Like, that's that, Wait, it's so crazy. Wait, so if it's an upper dog and an underdog, that means that Zoro and Lokesh are both your dogs? They are both my dogs, yes. 
God damn. All right. Okay, here we go. Sora starting out. Sora has a lot of farms. They both have a decent amount of farms. But guys, you should unsubscribe from Zigzag. No, he's being he's being unwholesome right now. Also, Lokesh has to GZ AI. That's actually crazy, bro. That Spectra spot just goes so hard for Lokesh right now. He has to GZ AI. Yeah, I'd get another Spectra up if I was Lokesh. I would get one up in the normal Spectra spot that Sora is using right now. Yeah, I'd get one right here where my mouse is for Locust Spectre at least, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't don't choke to GC like don't get GC glitched here. Yeah, you have to be careful. I think Siggy should be banned from all six like power streams for burger talk. Oh yeah, ban me from my own stream. All right, this is some intense micro late game happening on the screen right now. Yes, sir. Lokesh kind of timing his sense better than Zoro. Zoro is giving a lot of room for like uh, free uh, super worth of GZs by sending so many space UMGs. Like there's literally going to be four on screen then so that Lokesh is going to GZ right now. It's so worth it for him. Zoro only has yeah. a couple. Zoro's micro is wild. Zoro, wait, are you? Yeah, yeah he defends. That's himself. battle CV, but... Uh, battle CV glitching, but it's fine. This is probably going to be round 35 all out again, if I had to guess. Probably is, yeah, I'd, Im yeah, I'd imagine. Sora, Sora's microing really well here. Locus is letting it get a little bit too far for my comfort. He has a boost, though. Something to keep in mind, for sure. He does. I would, if I were Sora, get a Spectre up at the end, just, just in case. In, like, in case you're about to leak to Ceramics. Zora should be boosting right now to overclock his farms, instead of selling them. Yeah. Oh. There we go. He did it. He did it. I mean, there's a 30 second delay, though. I want to yeah, become a member. True. How do I do that? Click the join button next to like my little subscribe thing. Oh, oh Locus choked. Locus choked. All right, three zero to Zoro currently. They're gonna play the Only final match. One more game. One more win, and Zoro takes the entire tournament. Let's start game four. Oh, blast! That's that's bold. Do you think Locus will do good on blast here? Locus has picked. Yeah, I think, I think probably his micro is a bit better than Zoro. He might have a better chance here. Yeah, true. The thing is, Soro just plays better overall, but Locust might, I don't know, might have a, a slightly better micro. We'll see. Soro wants those 100 bucks bad. He actually does, yeah. The thing is, though, like, Lo like no matter what, Lo like, winner gets $80 and the loser's gonna get $20. So they're both gonna get some money. But... Yep, I mean, Zoro kind of more horny for the $80 than the 100 right now. Yeah, bro bro wants the 80 bucks, which is understandable. But also just, like, like having dominated this tournament, like, nobody can sleep on Soro again. Nobody can say, oh, Soro Soros, Soros mid, Soros just okay. Like Soros really, really good. Soros enough, I think. Yeah, I mean, Soros definitely just made made his name for himself bigger in this tournament. Especially like treating gold sheep with such disrespect, like that is that is huge for Soros. God damn, you're making him sound like a super villain. He's trying to scam Soro, I bet, by going super despite agreement to play DFA. They made a gentleman's agreement to go DFA, but the thing is, I've said it multiple times, they can go super if they want to. So, like, they don't have to honor the DFA rule. They He can be snaky, but of course, if he is, then nobody's going to trust him afterwards. But, yeah, I think they're both sticking to it. I think they're both going DFA. Someone's saying Soro is average. The thing is, Soro is completely and brutally beating everybody. Like every pro pro player in this tournament, buddy, gold sheep's average at that point. Now nah, gold sheep's bad even to lose three one to Zara. Gold sheep lost calling three Zora one. Average is calling gold sheep other trash, and I'm sorry, that's just not true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The thing is, like, I don't think from the very beginning this is the finale we expected. When when we saw all the first games, we did not expect Lokish and Sorrow in the finale. To be fair, Zoro seated as eighth was unfair to yeah. him. It, he should have been at least seated sixth or fifth with his current like uh, like estimated skill level, I think. But yeah. still, for someone that wasn't seated first and far from it, no matter what, yeah. it's very impressive what Zoro's doing right now. True, true. We're not we're not dissing you, Gold Ship. Gold Ship. Why do I can't? Why can't I gold never? Ship? I can never say gold, gold, gold shit. chip. Gold shit. I can never say his name. Gold gold We're not dissing you, gold sheep. The thing is, Sor you're you're like regarded as probably the best current dart player, right? And Sorrow murdered you, bro. He brutally beat you to the curb and stomped your teeth in, right? And that's why people cannot ca call Sorrow average after that. Like it's just not a thing. Gold chipper. 
This is this, this is Soros moment. He gonna win. Listen, I misspoke. I didn't mean to go. I'm just hungry for the burger. Also, McDonald's closes in two minutes. I'm never making it. Anyway, bro is violating. Sig, did you see what Sheepy was Sheepy playing on? What was Sheepy did playing? You mean on? What do you mean? Did you mean shitty? No, I think I meant to say gold sheep, but then gold shit. I don't know, bro. <laughs> gold sheep said, "You seen my device?" Bro. No, I actually haven't. What What is your device? I think gold sheep plays on such a bad device. He needs the hundred dollars more. Oh man, now you can't get forty two percent of a burger. Oh yeah, that's that's. Uh... Nah, bro, gold sheep. You for real just called? Did you for real just got called gold shit by six? Say how do you feel, bro? <laughs> To be fair, I played Gold Sheep once in my last stream. Yo, Locust just almost died. No, no, he's fine on boost trust. This is Blast. I've played Blast the other hundred True, times. True, but bro, bro leaked. Bro leaked down to like almost nothing. Okay, this shit falls boost on Sora's side. Yep. Yep. The region camo lead is insane though. Like why? They always go for it, I noticed, but it never like causes any leaks on Zoro's side. For some reason, yeah. it's more effective against low cash than against Zoro. Gold Sheep just showed I got the trap phone. <laughs> Sweats. I got. What is a trap phone? Wait, I'm actually quickly just going to show chat once nobody's rushing. Okay, wait, we got a boost. Low cash defense, fine. This was what Gold Sheep was playing on. This device right here, whatever the hell that is. That is the worst phone ever. <laughs> Buddy, this is the real Simba excuse right now. That is, that really is, yeah. All right, Lokesh, okay, don't die here. Dead? Okay, okay. No, he's chilling, I think. I think. Oh, uh, Spikes. Okay, he's, he's I was chilling. just waiting for his lives to go to zero because Battle TV sometimes fucks with you. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, ever since I became a member and donated a ton of money, uh, the live streams have seven have 70... 57% been about how badly Siggy wants a burger. They actually have, yeah. You're right. Okay, oh! Locust with the drain. Okay, this should actually be interesting. Locust, just don't choke. Do not choke and lose the games here. Yes, go for some jugs. Make sure you have all the defense you need. Wait, is he fine to layering, though? We found 18 AI. Yeah, I think uh, Locust is chilling. Locust is chilling. It might push. This might push. Uh, okay. Sora has to sell two farms for that. I mean, Sora has 900 eco, sure, but he just had to sell a lot of farms to defend. Sora died. Yo, yo Locus wins, but he literally needs to not lose a single game. Locus will be going hard next game. On to game five. All right, let's see. Locus versus Sorrow. Again. Again. For the fifth time. All right, this time on Super Monkey Lane, though. Haven't they played this one, like, once no, already? No, 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 or... they haven't played it before. Oh, that was Locus versus Kiku, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, okay. Let's see. I mean, Locust needs wins here. Locust really needs to make a comeback. Okay, Sorrow goes for the... I don't know. He goes for the same dart spots as he did before. Bottom uh, bottom trip. I think I like that. I oh, like Sorrow's... Uh, he actually is. What is Locust doing? Play, yeah, yeah. Sorrow's just playing very bureaucratic here. Very, very, very standard, you know, nothing... Nothing exciting about it. Just goes for the farm, waits, goes for the second trip. I mean, that's what he should be doing, though. He's going to have way more farms. Oh, like, th said. This is going to make him a lot more bananas and yeah. a lot more money in the end. No, you just said AO gold shit. Chill out. Um, if Logos does a comeback, he will have my respect forever and a free burger shipped wherever he wants. Locus, if you make the comeback, you will get a burger, bro. Trust me, you'll want the burger. I genuinely can't tell whether I'd have like a, a, a free hundred dollars right now or just just one burger, you know, one five dollar burger in front of me. They're, they're both very tempting, but I think I'd probably go with the burger, low key. Low cash on you got to spool up. Zoro's out playing Nico wise and both money wise as well. Yeah. Okay, now he's going to be sending some yellows. Zoro just not going to ask any questions. Instantly go for the spot. That's fair. Yeah, it goes with the farm. So Sora has more farm. Uh, yeah, they're same in farms almost. Sora got up his farm slightly earlier, and he has a little bit more eco. So I think Sora's doing good here. But again, it's very early, and like early on, the advantage can quickly ship around. Like it, all it takes is like one one mess up, you know, from one of like either yeah, side. Yeah, exactly. Mm. 
But yeah, right now, objectively, Sorrow is doing better. Oh, Sorrow's doing way better. He managed to greet that uh, that second plot. Now, Lokesh, of course, can sense a region. Let's try yeah, to punish. Yeah, Lokesh has to punish this. I don't know if that's the, like, punishing this, because they kind of go into, like, some sort of a drain game. Would it not just be more worth it for Lokesh to just go for his own farm? I don't uh, know. Actually, probably he not. He's trying so. to make Sorrow mess up, because, like, if he goes for another farm, Sorrow just gets to greed. But if yeah, Sorrow, because if Sorrow this, is, chokes this is Super here. Monkey Lane. Keep this in mind. It's Super Monkey Lane. True. You're all saying free gold sheep, bro. Hey, oh. Wait, hey, who, who, who are you talking gold, about? Gold, gold shit just said, hey, whoever calling me gold shit can code up right now. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> no, I'll code sheep right. for a video, though. I, I will. I said I would. Uh, I will. Yeah. Oh. Don't choke, oh, don't choke. Oh, it's low like, fine. Okay, yeah. The pressure's on so much right now because Sorrow needs one win to, to win the first yeah, place prize. Yeah, he needs one win to secure the dub and end the turn right there. Yeah. Sweat don't want the smoke. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Nah, chill out. I said I'll play him for a video. I will. No, if now, I, now if you I have lose to... four, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have, now you have to play gold shit. If if I embarrass myself against gold shit, I will I will still call him gold shit, but I'm gonna embarrass myself. If, if you if you do embarrass yourself and, and he beats you brutally, it's no longer sweat BTD, it's shit BTD. So Okay, sure. Works for me. Yeah. But he's still gonna be gold shit though. Oh, we got a bloom boost? Nah, Sora's fine. Sora just bought infinite bolts. He's doing the Brian chest dot. Bro is actually Lokish goes for that disgusting bank. Yo, Sora messed up. I don't. Sora didn't get it. Get it in uh, round sixteen. It's fine. You Sora didn't get the extra yeah, thirty. It's basically same thing. Yeah. Sora didn't get the round sixteen. B. Uh, I think no, it would mind. probably just. just... Okay. Yeah, you can't go for the BIA right now. You you'll be mm. you'll be screwed. But he messed if up he on didn't the round go, sixteen bang. He didn't try to go for bang this round. He could have round seventeen BIA. He didn't started winning, but fortunately, he made a pretty big mess up here. Yeah. 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 Gets insta boost, of course. That's to be expected. Wait, is Lokesh oh. fine? Don't Yo, Lokesh. Yo! Yo, the turn ends right there. Loki just choked. The turn ends right there. Damn, Sorrow four one. Edge. Nah, that's crazy. GG Sorrow, bro. Sorrow GG comes in Sorrow. first place. So just to recap everything: Gold Sheep versus Sorrow. Sorrow won three one. Then Sorrow beat Nitero three zero, and then he beat Lokesh. This was an insane finale, bro. Sorrow, you did the, you did very well. Underdog who made a name for himself. That is crazy. If you love this video, I'll plan to make more like this. You can watch more right here.